Hello guys, how are you? Um, I know I haven't been posting many videos lately, however, um, I will be trying to post some more videos for you guys on YouTube. Uh, today I would like to talk about few um, grooming techniques that you should use next time you're grooming your dog. Not only techniques, but uh, where you should pay attention while grooming your dogs. And I like uh, to talk about some myths that um, are not quite true. Uh, and uh, you, I'm sure your dog will, the, your dog's hair will improve if you apply those, those things. So first thing, um, a technique of uh, hand stripping a Westie. Uh, it should apply to most Westies, you know, their uh, Westie have a standard and you know, uh, most people know what their West should look like and what their West look like. And uh, as we know, when we groom, we try to um, show the qualities of our dog and try to hide the faults. Um, so uh, in that way, you have uh, uh, certain things that you do when you groom that you should apply to most dogs, like go short in certain places, leave a little bit more hair in the others, you know, go tight in, a, in some spots, and, and so on and so forth. However, if you, are, if you are using these techniques in your dog and you're not getting the results, you know, you try to apply it, you did everything you thought you were taught and, and your dog doesn't look quite right. You have to change it up. You have to try something different. Maybe leave a little bit more hair where it should be a little bit short or vice versa. You know, um, leave a longer skirt, a shorter skirt, uh, more, uh, more hair um, in front here if the dog doesn't have much in their coat to cover the skin, or uh, uh, even in the shoulders, some dogs, you should leave slightly more hair here to make a nice transition between the shoulder and the leg. Others, you have to trim tight because they have a little bit more bulging um, shoulders. Uh, so that's what something you have to, and you have to think about. And uh, the other thing is, you want to try different techniques, not when uh, you have a dog show, but when you, you are grooming your dog on off season, try something different. Try to groom in a different way, you know, you end up discovering that that way works better for you and for your dog. When I teach uh, my seminars, I teach the main way, the way if you groom a dog in that manner, most dogs will look good. All dogs will look better than they were before. However, there are some things that have to be changed from time to time because not all dogs are the same, okay? So pay attention in that, that thing. The other thing is pay attention to, to details. That's where the difference between a dog that's well-groomed and a dog that's really nice, you know, it's exceptionally well-groomed. It's, that's where the difference in the details, you know, it's behind the ear here to clean very nice here, you know, like uh, when you look the dog on the side to leave this part flat and not hair like this, uh, uh, obstructing the nice straight line here, you know, so um, do the ears correctly, you know, take the tip and make a nice uh, V pointy shape. Don't exaggerate the point of the ears. A lot of people do with the, with the um, straight scissors. I use the straight scissors to take the hair off the tip here, but most of the time, I don't use the straight scissor to do the V here because I think it looks too unnatural, you know, like it looks cut. 
you know, and um, no West, no West, you have uh, a year like that. This is pointy enough. This is point is correctly pointy. It's not a round top. You don't have to cut and make like a pointy with your um, with your straight scissors. Okay. Um, so second is to pay attention to details. Very important. The third thing is it's uh, I want to bust one myth, uh, and a lot of people know this already, but a lot of people. Many people don't know uh, that uh, it is okay to use conditioner in a Westie. A good conditioner won't make the hair soft. It will condition the hair, will moist the hair, and will prevent breakage, okay? So um, uh, your, your dog's hair will be healthier, uh, much easier to groom, and much easier to maintain, like a, a skirt without holes and things like that. So uh, if, it, if, you're, if you're not showing or showing, every once in a while, do the furnishings, um, do, uh, use the condition, the furnishings ahead, maybe once a month, you know, and, um, and even there's some leave in, uh, conditioner that you can spread in your hands and use a little bit in the head and in, on the legs and the skirt um, to to avoid breakage the other thing is when you do that you also have maybe once a week wash the furnishings to so the, the hair doesn't get soiled because of the conditioner that you live in but using conditioner is a very important thing and uh, I think everybody should do this for the health of their Westie hair, okay? So these are three things that I want to talk and um, I hope you guys apply that to your, your next time you groom your dog and uh, it help, it, I hope this will help improve your, um, your grooming, okay? So um, next time, I'll come next time to talk about different things or show some techniques uh, on grooming, how to do the top line, you know, how to blend the skirt uh, with the top lines, things that I already talked about, but it's always good to remind and maybe some things that I'm doing a little bit different nowadays, okay? So thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and Click on the thumbs up there, it will help me a lot. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.